Abraham's family troubles. Mm. It's long and flat. It eats tree sap for food. Hey guys, mm -hmm. look what I caught! A dragonfly. Isn't it huge? Wow. <laughs> that is a big dragonfly. Right. <laughs> Whoa. And the stag beetle has super strong jaws. They move like scissors during combat. The stag beetle grabs its rival with its jaws and twists. Whoa, stag beetles are fighting mm -hmm. machines. It's bigger than mine. Whoa! But they don't stand a chance against this guy. What's this bug? It's ginormous. This is the Hercules beetle. It's the biggest among beetles. And it's powerful, too. Lenny? Stag beetle versus Hercules beetle. Which would win? Mine, right? Look! I caught a butterfly. Isn't it pretty? <gasps> wow, its wings are cool. The butterfly's wings are very important. They help them fly quickly and zip around easily. And butterflies also pollinate plants. When butterflies eat flower nectar, they pick up pollen or flower powder on their bodies. Then they fly to another flower, taking the pollen with them. And that's how they pollinate or help plants grow. <laughs> so, there's sweet nectar in here? Ew, that's yucky! <laughs> Hi, kids. Did you catch a lot of insects? Hello, Luca! I caught a butterfly! I got a big Hercules beetle! And I found a stag beetle! <laughs> Good job. Hmm, but where's Alwyn? I'm over here. Guess what I found? Whoa, what is this? May, why don't you do the honors? Sure. This is a stag beetle pupa. Pupa? pupa? A pupa is one stage of a bug's growing process between larva and adult. So, this is a baby stag beetle. It looks so different. I didn't know that insects had a baby stage, too. Yeah, becoming an adult is not mm -hmm. easy. Just as insects lay eggs to make a family, it's also important for people to have children, too. Ooh, hold on. Is it time for a Bible story? Correct. Today's story is about how Abraham has a child. Wow, sounds interesting. I can't wait to hear it. Well then, why don't you let the insects free so we can start the story? Okay! <laughs> Hello there, friends. Luca here. Today, I'll tell you the story about Abraham's family troubles. Do you remember the story where God promised Abraham children? Oh, there are so many that I can't count. I created those countless stars. And like them, I will give you countless children. By the time Abraham returned to Canaan, he was already 74 years old. But the son that God promised him was not yet born. Eliezer, who was raised in Abraham's home since birth, was their most faithful servant. Eliezer, you must be tired. Why don't you take a break? No, I'm not tired at all. But you must be hungry, Master. I'll just put this away and go out to catch something for your dinner. Since I have no children of my own, should I make Eliezer my heir? Master! Master! Oh. I caught a deer! Tonight, I'll cook you a delicious steak. Just give me a minute, Master. Such a big deer! In such a short time! Back then, if you didn't have children, it was normal to adopt a trusty servant and leave them your fortune. So, was Eliezer to become Abraham's heir? Let's see. Sweet dreams. Our angel is sleeping so peacefully. Abraham, we are both very old. Can we really have children now? God promised us, so it'll happen. Just in case, why don't you marry our maid, Hagar? Hagar? What are you saying? We can't wait for a child forever. Marry Hagar and have a son. Then we'll raise him as our own. Uh, absolutely not. We must be patient and wait. Then we'll only get older. Let's do it my way this time. In the end, 
Abraham did what Sarah wanted and married Hagar. Soon they had a son and named him Ishmael. Father, I want to ride this camel. Teach me how, please. Camel? All right, I'll hold you steady. Let's go. That's it. You're doing it. Father, don't let go, okay? <laughs> don't worry, I won't. <laughs> I'm good at this. I can ride a camel now. <laughs> You're athletic, Ishmael. Like father, like son. <laughs> Abraham truly loved and adored Ishmael. He thought of him as the heir to his fortune. However, Ishmael was not the child God had promised him. When Abraham turned 99 years old, God appeared to him and stated yet again, Abraham, good! You will have many descendants, and among them a king will be born. Sarah will have a son. By son? Do you mean Ishmael? No, Ishmael is not the child I am speaking of. Next year, Sarah will have a son, and you will be the father of many nations. Whoa! To have a son? At this old age? Oh, thank you, God! A year later, when Abraham turned 100 and Sarah 90, finally their son was born. Will Sarah be okay if something happens to her? No, no, God promised. Everything will be all right. Get a grip, Abraham. Oh, go! Oh. Mm -hmm. Uh, well? It's a boy. <gasps> Your wife had a boy. Abraham, look, it's our son. Thank you, Sarah. God has kept his promise. <laughs> what should we name him? Name? Hmm. A son? A baby at this old age? No way! He must be joking. <laughs> Sarah, why are you laughing? Don't you believe me? Uh, no, I wasn't laughing. How about Isaac? It means one who laughs. Isaac, it's perfect! My son, you are now Isaac. <laughs> Let's be a happy family. <laughs> hmm. So, friends, don't let your faith in God waver and stay true to the end, because God always keeps His promises. Well, wasn't today's Bible story fun? Let's meet again next time with an even more exciting story. Till then, be good and goodbye! <laughs>